So now that I got the All of You color down, I'm going to go ahead and go into the lock and key. And again on my fingers, and I'm going to place this one in the center here. shade again from the melt stack and I'm going to go ahead and kind of carve in here where my crease my cut crease I added some Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Glitter Liner in the middle. And you can see it kind of more so brightened up the, um, the gold in the middle there. So I really like how that looks. I think I'm going to keep it that way. And now for some liner from Morphe. When you purchased um, anything from their booth at Fame, they did give you a free um gel eyeliner in the color slate which is their black one so i'm going to go ahead and try that out today and nice generous gift to them see how black that is nice black gel eyeliner and i did pick up a new wing liner brush because mine is getting quite crusty so i picked up the morphe e11 brush i'm going to use this today to do my liner so i'm just going on with that morphe e E11 brush and this Morphe gel liner. Pick up a good amount. It's looking really creamy. So hopefully it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and start lining up the root here. I'm just making a line across first and then I'll go out and wing it out. Stick up whatever I have left on the brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and wing out the liner. So I'm winging this out at the end of my lash line. And then bringing it back that way. I will say this brush is really nice to get a nice long line there. See how effortless that was and how straight that line is. So pretty nice. This gel liner is really pretty. Very good liner. Does the job. Very sharp line. So now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and go into highlighting and contouring. Um, I did 
didn't get any new um, any new like concealers or anything so I'm gonna go in with my usuals which is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and Tarte Shape Tape Concealer so starting off with the shade Honey I'm gonna go ahead and conceal under my eyes here That and then going in with the shade neutralizer. I'm going to go ahead and place this on the highlight areas of my face. Just here, here, you know, that good old little area. And then going in with the shape tape concealer, I'm going to put this down right underneath that honey color just to brighten up my under eyes so it's nice, bright, ready to go. I did get a new sponge though, so I will be trying out this sponge in this video. I got the Morphe um, Highlight and Contour Sponge, and I heard a lot of good things about this. I've been wanting to try it for a while, but they're always sold out. So, I'm going to open this with it real quick, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and wet the sponge, so I have it here, but I'm just going to blend out this top part first with a Morphe brush as well. Um, because this part dries pretty quickly on me, so I just want to make sure that's blended out. And then now, so I wet the sponge and it actually got really big. Like, if you see this, it fits the whole palm of my hand, so it's actually a really big sponge. And I like that it has the points here, so you can really get in and go in there. So let's try this bad boy out. Blend this concealer. I do use the Real Technique sponge, which looks like this. It has a round point there, it's kind of dirty. But um, I do like this sponge as well, but this one feels a little bit denser, but in a good way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this outwards. Blend it in. Sponge is literally never in stock, probably because it's so good. So I'm very happy I was able to get it at the same expo. I can make it feel really nice. I'm not getting these areas here that you can't really reach with like a normal view blender. So I'm doing quite the job. So. that's blended out I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my original beauty blender that I used my sponge on and just kind of go over it so it gives a nice glowy finish and so that everything is nice and blended. So I just like going over this because then it goes over these spots that it may have not blended out correctly and just evens it out with the foundation. I did pick up the RCMA No Color Setting Powder. I want to use this one, but at the same time, I still have my other ones open, so I'm just going to use my Cody Airspun one. I love this powder. I've used it before. Super, super good. So if you guys are interested in a setting powder that's affordable, it's only 10 bucks. Um, this one's really, really good. I just don't like the packaging. That's the only thing. That's the only con I have to this, to this powder is the packaging, but other than that, super good, super compact. You know, you can take this in you're, if you're traveling, it's good to travel with, so just a recommendation. But for today, I'm going to use my Cody Airspun powder. So taking that same Morphe sponge, I'm just going to pick up some of the powder here on my sponge like so, and then press this down. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm really liking this sponge. This is like perfect for this, because when I put, on, put it on the Real Technique sponge, I find that it like kind of packs everywhere and I don't like that so I'm like very you have to like squish the sponge kind of put it there but this wow this is nice it's real nice like see how that was and I just wow I like this a lot so this may be my new go to spot okay so now that I got the bakage on there for my concealer 
so yeah, behind those areas because right there is where I usually freeze and get crazy and I'm on the crazy thing. So, I really like the sponge. This right here is a big, big hit for me. So, I did pick up a face brush with the Morphe. Y1 brush and I'm just going to go ahead and place some powder all over my face, really set in my foundation. Just bringing that down the neck, set on my nose, and same thing on the top of my face. And here, just want to it looks nice and set and give me one second because I'm so just bringing that all over and that's um, the powder I'm using today, MAC Medium Dark Next to Nothing um, Face Powder. Very pretty, very subtle, light powder. It literally feels like you have nothing on. So I love this. Super good. Just bringing it down. So on the way out. I'm liking this brush too. And then now with a Morphe um, E3 brush, I'm going to go ahead and wipe away this package. So I went ahead and just wiped away the bakage, set my face, and now I'm going to go ahead and go in with highlight and pick up a like specific highlighter that um, was there. I didn't pick up any like glow kits, even though Anastasia was there and whatnot. But I did pick up this palette, and it does have some pretty highlights that I want to try. It's from um, BH Cosmetics. It is the Carly Bible, Carly Bible um, Deluxe Edition Powder or palette and as you can see here it has a good variety of shadows highlights um even some bronzy colors and blushes i would assume or even highlights you can use these all for highlights if you really want to so something on the um on the deeper complexion you can use these as highlights lighter fair you know you can really do multiple things with this palette so i thought it was super cute super um affordable it's only twelve dollars so I was like yes honey give it to me so I went ahead and picked this up so I'm gonna go ahead and use this today so that we have kind of a variety of um, different palettes that we use so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up my Morphe of course I have nothing but Morphe guys if you guys <laughs> I promise this video is not sponsored it's just I was a part of the Morphe brush club um, for the longest so I have a ton of Morphe brushes and that's what I use so I'm going to go in with the Morphe M601 brush I'm going to go into this more champagne color here so I'm just going to pick this color up with my fan brush and I'm going to go ahead and place this on the cheeks here so I'm just going to go ahead and place this up to my highlight very pretty highlight okay it's a little bit more subtle than what I usually wear but it's pretty. So, and I just put this all over my face. And BH Cosmetics, if you guys don't know this, I don't think I've ever told you guys um, in my videos, but I actually started with BH Cosmetics. BH was what I started with when I started um, getting into makeup. And I bought, you know, their um, 76 color palette or something like that. And it was so beautiful. I was mesmerized. I was like, what? There's stuff like this out there in the market. Like, I was so excited. I think I was only like, um, maybe like 20 years old or so. And I was like, oh my God, I have to. Maybe not even 20. I may have been like 18, 19. But moral of the story, like I just, I was so mesmerized by their palettes. So that's what I started using. I bought a bunch of their brush sets. I bought a bunch of their palettes. I mean, I still have those because, you know, it's a sentimental thing. And I just, I really liked, I like them. So I, that's what I use. I use these on my BH palettes. There's that. Okay. Highlights done. Now going into bronzer. As always, I don't think I picked up a bronzer. I did pick up a blush, but I'll go ahead and use my, um, my, my regular bronzer, which is the Blunt MAC Blunt Bronzer. I'm just using this to bronze up the skin. I like this one because it doesn't get orange on me throughout the day. Some oxidize and just, you know, make me look orange. And it's not cute, but this one's very subtle, very pretty. And going in again with the Morphe M527 brush. Just warm it up the skin here. And then 
just to blend the highlight with the bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my studio finish um, glow with it bronzer. <laughs> Telling you guys I need new bronzers, they're so bad. But I'm just going in with the glow with it bronzer, blending things both upwards so that the highlight and the contour kind of just blends together. Now to carve out my contour um, and make it a little bit more sharp, I'm going to go in with that Morphe sponge and my Cody Airspun powder. I'm just going to place this right underneath my contour. going in with my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara in the Shayla Collaboration in Black is Black. I'm just going to go ahead and coat my lashes here. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I'm just going to set my brows now that I've done all my powders, all my highlight and contouring. Just kind of running this through my brows so they don't move. There you go. Very quick, very easy step, but it is important. It's very, very important. And then now for lashes, I'm going to go ahead and go into some lashes that I already have. I did pick up some lashes um, that I will share with you guys. I'll link them down below. I had a cute little booth. Um, it is the Bold Hat Rogue and Rogue um, brand here. And they had a discount, 20% off I believe. And these were the lashes I got. Very pretty, very wispy lashes. Um, they're very full, so if you're not a full type of person, not for you, but um, I'm gonna try those on a different look. So today I'm just gonna use my regulars, but I did pick up some lashes. So going in with my lashes, I'm gonna be using a pair that's already open. It is the Baby G Lashes use these all the time in all my videos. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes and I'll be right back. So you guys can see, you guys can see, very full lashes, beautiful. I love these lashes for like everyday use. Even when you don't wear a wing liner, they just make your eyes stand out. So really, really love them. Just wanted to give you guys a close up there. But now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off this baggage here. bakage wiped away and I can focus on the finishing up the eyes there. I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline with my MAC uh, Smolder Eye Coal in the black one. I don't know the actual or I think it is called Smolder. I don't know but it's a MAC black eyeliner and it's super tiny as you can see I use it all the time. I'm just gonna go ahead and line the waterline here so just placing this inside of my waterline just bringing it just a small line so you can see how it kind of brings that together. So, just bring this over. And okay. So, now I got the eyeliner on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with. into the Morphe um, Grand Glam Palette and I'm going to go ahead and mix the first two shades that we went are the 
second and third shade we went into. These two here, so I'm gonna mix those two together and smudge that on my lower lash line. So just picking that up and going in with this brush, it's a Morphe M508 brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and place that right underneath the eyeliner there. And now with that, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face, which is just blush, and then my lipstick, a little bit of more of highlight around my face, and then we are done. Blush, I did pick up a BH blush. It's going to be the floral blush in the shade, in the shade Bahama Bronze. Very pretty, nice packaging that it has, kind of reminds you like a beachy vibe. And, um... And it looks like this, so very pretty, nice, beautiful, neutral blush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a Morphe MR or Morphe R4 brush, and I'm going to dip into it like so. It does um, kick off a lot of products, so a little bit goes a long way. And I'm just going to place a little bit here on my cheek because this one seems to be a little bit more pink for me. And your girl can't pull off too pink. So. We do have some kind of blush. Now for lips, I did get one lip color. I know, surprise, surprise, but I have a million lip colors. I could have a million more, but I just, I went easy on the lip colors, went more hard on the eyeshadow palettes, as you can see. So now I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with MAC Strip Down and So now going into the lipsticks that I bought, which is the Melt Cosmetics lipstick in, I couldn't even pronounce it there, Foyer, Foyer, I don't know, it's a very pretty nude color, beautiful, beautiful color, so I'm just going to place this on the lips now. very nude for the last and final step I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the glam glow glow setting setting spray that I have my face set you guys can see the final look and all the stuff that I got from fame super super beautiful I hope you guys enjoyed this just as much as I did had a great time at fame expo it was so much fun so many nice people there I hope you guys enjoyed this haul slash get ready with me with all the stuff that I picked up be sure to hit subscribe before you leave and we'll see you on the next one bye guys